Dear students, now I am going to show you how to assess and do the plaque score in a patient. The index I am going to explain is O'Leary plaque index. O'Leary plaque index was given by O'Leary in 1972. This is a very simple index for undergrad students especially and this is a dichotomous index which means it just have to score present plaque or absence of plaque only. If the plaque is present, you put a score of 1. If the plaque is not present, you put a score of 0. Now for this O'Leary plaque index, a suitable uh, disclosing solution has to be used and has to be painted on all the exposed tooth surfaces. Here I am using a disclosing solution named as Nira two-tone disclosing solution. I'll explain the solution after I paint the surfaces. You can see I have taken a cotton bud, a sterile cotton bud, and then I am, this is a solution which I am applying on the tooth surfaces. Okay, in this fashion, you paint all the tooth surfaces with the disclosing solution. Nira two-tone disclosing solution, it's called two-tone because it will differentiate the plaque that is present, a newly formed plaque and a mature plaque can be differentiated by the coloring. Now, for example, in this two-tone solution, you will observe a old plaque in blue color and a freshly formed plaque in a pink color. Once you paint all the teeth surfaces you want to score the plaque, you can ask the patient to rinse gently to remove the excess solution. Now you can see that we have finished applying the disclosing solution on all the teeth surfaces. And the patient has gently rinsed it for less than 10 seconds. After that you observe, now whenever there is plaque using the disclosing solution, the plaque will be stained by the disclosing dye. That's how you can see the plaque. As you can see that there is no much plaque visible on the labial surfaces of the teeth. But please observe closely, most of the patients actually have plaque in between the teeth incidentally because they usually don't clean incidental areas as well as they clean the buccal or the lingual surfaces. In fact, the buccal surfaces usually have very less plaque compared to the interdental and the lingual surfaces. So you can see some plaque here as example. You can see here in between the stained plaque okay, and even here. As I said, this is a two-tone solution. So, this pink color indicates it is a freshly formed plaque or a new plaque. It is not a very mature, old plaque. That means uh, the patient is, has been cleaning every day and this plaque has formed maybe in few hours. Let us see how is her plaque score or plaque presence inside the lingual uh, area. Open please. Now, you can see in the mouth mirror, that there is obvious staining of the plaque that is present on the lower lingual surfaces of the teeth. And this also is a mostly a fresh plaque because this is a pink in color. Let us see the upper surfaces. Yes, I hope you can all appreciate the uh, type of plaque that is present on the other teeth surfaces as well. Even in the posterior teeth, I can find, I can show you there is plaque deposition present in these teeth. Now, how to do the plaque assessment or plaque scoring? For this, it is very simple. Now, since you can differentiate the plaque, right? What you are supposed to do is just give a score of 0 or 1 
per two surfaces. You have to score on four two surfaces, which are labial, palatal or lingual, mesial and distal. So you have to give a score of zero or one in these four surfaces, and you have to record in the tabular form as is given or shown in the slide. Now, for example, let us score the plaque on the tooth 3, 1, 4, 1. So for tooth 4, 1, you can see there is a fleck of plaque on the, you can say that it is a buccal surface. So the score could be 1. Even interproximally, there is plaque. So the score is 1. Whereas distally, there is no much plaque. So the score is 0. Now what should be the score lingually? You can see the plaque on lingual surface of the tooth 4 1. Hence the score is 1. So like this we have scored for 1 tooth. Similarly you need to quickly score on all the teeth and then enter in your tabular data form. Then you can compile the percentage of plaque score. I hope this is clear. We can just run one more scoring on the upper or the lower teeth again. Let us do on the tooth 3, 2. For the tooth 3, 2 lingual is obvious. Score is 1. Mesial, the score is also considered 1. Buckle is 0. Distal is 1. As you can see in the mirror, the proximal surface. So please make use of the mouth mirror properly to differentiate the proximal plaque present or not. Sometimes there could be food deposits or material alba that could also be uh, this or lodged in between these interdental spaces. So this is a way how you actually record the O'Leary plaque scoring.